Nanny, Wikipedia article audio. A nanny provides child care within the children's family setting. Traditionally, nannies were servants in large households and reported directly to the lady of the house. Today, modern nannies, like other domestic workers, may live in or out of the house, depending on their circumstances and those of their employers. There are many employment agencies that specialize in child care. History Colonial Era Types of Nanny Live in Nanny Nanny Share Night Nanny Maternity Nurse Slash Newborn Care Specialist Slash Confinement Nanny Demographic Associations Training and Qualifications Notable Nannies British Royal Family Other Royal Families Other Fictional Representations Animals Women Men Television Nannies differ slightly from others' child care providers. A child minder works out of her own home, operating as a small business, depending on the country they live in, government registration may or may not be required. A mother's helper, who may live in or out, assists the woman of the house with general chores as well as caring for the children. The term au pair usually refers to an untrained young woman, who comes from abroad to live in the host family and learn the local culture and language, while helping with the children. A governess concentrates on educating children inside their own home, and a kindergarten or elementary teacher does the same, but in a school environment. In the 19th and early 20th century, the position was usually known as a nurse, and was, as for many child care jobs, invariably female. In a great house, the nurse was a senior member of the household staff and ran her own domain, a suite of rooms called the nursery, supported by at least one assistant, known as a nursemaid. Because of their deep involvement in raising the children of the family, Nannies were often remembered with great affection and treated more kindly than the junior servants. Nannies may have remained in the employment of the same aristocratic or gentry family for years, looking after successive generations of children. Nannies were present in the households of the administrators of European colonial empires throughout the world. It was a characteristic feature of colonial society that the children of European administrative officers were entrusted to the care of native women. Nannies in colonial times spent their lives in the homes of their masters, often from childhood till old age, taking care of more than one generation, depending on the duration of the post. It was not uncommon for these nannies to be brought along with the family away from their native country when administrative officers were posted home or to another colony. A live-in nanny is less common today than in the past. Typically, a live-in nanny is responsible for the entire care of the children of their employers. This includes anything from washing the children's clothes and tidying the children's rooms to supervising homework and preparing children's meals, as well as taking children to and from school and activities. The job may include a separate apartment and a car. A live-in nanny is available 24 hours a day unless their employment contract states otherwise. A live-in nanny is nowadays more common amongst wealthier families, because of their possible flexibility while they live where they work. A live-in nanny will have all her living expenses paid and provided by the employer. Some families use what is known as a nanny share, where two or more families pay for the same nanny to care for the children in each family on a part-time basis. 
A more recent addition to the role of the nanny is that of the night nanny. Sleep specialists or consultants typically work with older babies and children. The night nanny usually works with a family anywhere from one night to seven nights per week. A night nanny generally works with children from newborn to five years of age. A night nanny can provide a teaching role, helping parents to establish good sleeping patterns or troubleshooting the sleeping patterns of a child. Roles and qualifications vary between countries. The night nanny works together with the family's requirements and philosophies. The qualifications of a night nanny are usually in mother craft nursing. Pay rates vary from country to country but are usually well paid in comparison to the general nanny, as the night nanny is seen as a specialist or expert in their field. Historically, European women were confined to their beds or their homes for extended periods after giving birth, care was provided either by her female relatives or by a temporary attendant known as a monthly nurse. These weeks were called confinement or lying in, and ended with the reintroduction of the mother to the community in the Christian ceremony of the churching of women. A modern version of this rest period has evolved, to give maximum support to the new mother, especially if she is recovering from a difficult labor and delivery. In the U.S. these specialty maternity nannies are also known as newborn care specialists. Certified newborn care specialists or maternity nannies are highly educated and referenced specialists who work with infants. They are highly experienced in all aspects of newborns aside from medical issues. They might work 24 hours a day, 7 days per week, but most work 5 nights slash days a week for the first 3 months of a newborn's life. The role can consist of assisting parents with feeding guidance, nursery setup, premature infant, multiples, colic, reflux, and sleep guidance slash training. There are various training organizations that offer non-accredited certifications, however, in an unregulated field parents should ensure that the qualifications of their maternity nanny are legitimate and accredited. The Newborn Care Specialist Association is one of many self-appointed certification entities for newborn care specialists in America. Some doulas specialize in postpartum care for mother and baby. Chinese and related East Asian traditions practice a form of postpartum confinement known as Zouzi sitting the month. Newborn care specialists are referred to as Yu Sao. They have specialized knowledge of both baby care and Zhou Yuzi, which are the Chinese traditions and customs regarding recovery from childbirth. In Singapore and Malaysia, newborn care specialists are better known as confinement nanny. They assist the mother in taking care of the baby in order to let mother have a good rest. Confinement food will be prepared to help with the recovery. Confinement agency or the parents will need to apply for confinement nanny work permit if they want to engage the nanny from Malaysia to work in Singapore. Usually, the employment period will be about 28 days up to a maximum of 16 weeks. Typically, women from their 20s to 60s take up employment as nannies. Some are younger though normally younger workers are nursemaids or au pairs rather than nannies in the traditional use of the term. A few positions are filled by men, the term manny is sometimes used for a male nanny, especially in the US and UK. There are a number of national and international professional associations representing nannies and nanny agencies. The International Nanny Association was founded in 1985. INA is a non-profit organization which provides an educational association for nannies with placement, employment, and professional support. The Alliance of Professional Nanny Agencies was founded in 1993. 
It is a non-profit organization that promotes professionalism in the nanny placement industry. In June 2012 the Australian Nanny Association was formed in Australia with the aims of having professional nannies included in the regulated government subsidised childcare scheme of the country. Anna is a volunteer-run, not-for-profit association that also hopes to change some public misconceptions about nannies, encourage professionalism, and be a source of support to nannies and the families who employ them. In the United Kingdom, no formal qualifications or training are required to become a nanny. However, the National Nursery Examination Board was founded in 1945, as the awarding body in qualifications for childminders, and nursery personnel. In 1994 the NNEB and the Council for Early Years Awards merged to form CASH the Council for Awards in Children's Care and Education, with their CASH Level 3 Diploma in Child Care and Education providing the knowledge and understanding of child development and education needed to work as a nanny. Norland College is a private college near Bath, which offers highly regarded training as a nanny. It also operates its own employment agency for graduates, as well as a local nursery in Bath. Various television programs feature real nannies, many of whom help parents discipline children. These include Abismo de Passione, Nanny 911, Super Nanny, and take home nanny. In British India a nanny was known as Aya, after AIA, nurse, governess. This term is presently part of the vocabulary of various languages of the subcontinent, meaning also female servant or maid, in Chinese she was an ama, in the Dutch East Indies the household nanny was known as Babo.